Hi friends, this is Mrs. Jones here with the first, I hope, will be in a series of um, activities that you can do to work with your kids with the Common Core. Um, the Common Core is here for many of us and we've got to start teaching at a higher degree of understanding and nowhere do we see that uh, more than in fifth grade standards for fractions. Fractions are a huge part of the Common Core. And it isn't just simply that students have um, good computational skills with them, they really have to understand what they're doing. So no longer can we just throw a problem like this at our students and say, oh, it's really easy, you just multiply across and, and you're done, and teach them in that rote learning kind of way. Um, the Common Core says that students will interpret multiplication as scaling, and they'll be able to compare the size of a product to the size of one factor on the basis of the size of the other factor. So in order to do that, and looking at some of the research on how to go about doing that, I decided to do that in a very visual way. And to do that, I created a manipulative using these plastic um, A to Z um, card guides. You can get these in two different sizes. This is the 3 by 5 size, but it also comes in a larger 4 by 6. Um, each student is going to need two of them. These are great because it's a very durable manipulative that you'll be able to use for years once you made it. So the first thing I need to do is turn these rectangles into squares. So the easiest thing to do that is to just line them up. Um, they are a bit slick, but it does work. And then I'm just going to cut up the sides. And if I have to cut off any letters, I'm going to do that. And that gives me two squares. Now I'm going to be showing you how to do this on um, a couple of the darker colors. It doesn't work quite as well with the darker colors. With my students, I'm actually using the primary colors. Um, they, show the, they show up a lot better. So let's take this, this uh, typical multiplication problem. And I've got my, my two squares here. One square is going to represent the first factor, and the other square is going to represent the second factor. So I'm going to take a dry erase marker and I'm going to model, make a model, a visual model, or an area model of three-fourths. So the nice thing about this, you don't have to be super exact. I mean, if you want your kids to use a straight edge and measure and all that, you can, but it's really not necessary for them to understand. With my first factor, I'm going to use vertical lines. With my second factor, I'm going to use horizontal lines to represent. And it's a good idea to start with the same fraction multiplied by the same fraction. And you can see both of them have a colored portion. So now what I'm going to do to model what it means to multiply a fraction by a fraction, I'm actually going to place one on top of the other. And I'm not sure if you can really see this very well, but you can actually see through the plastic. Sometimes it's easier. Yeah, that's a little bit easier. Um, for me anyway, um, you want to be able to see through to the other side. And that's why, um, like I said before, I use the lighter colored uh, primary color ones uh, for my students. But what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to trace the lines that I made before. It's hard for me to see when I lay it down. And then I'm actually going to put um, X's over the area that shaded on both of my cards. So this one, these three are shaded on both, these three are shaded on both, and these three are shaded on both. So if I look at this, how many portions are, are shaded on both of my squares, it would be nine squares out of the 16 total. So three-fourths times three-fourths would be nine-sixteenths. And the great thing about this manipulative, not only is it very sturdy and durable, um, it erases like a dry erase board. Look at that, now it's ready to go all over again. So you can have students model and model and model and model and model and model and model so they really, really understand what they're doing. And that really goes with, um, with the, with the final common core standard that I have down here at the bottom is that students need to be able to explain why multiplying a given number by a fraction less than one results in a product smaller 
than the original number. They're used to thinking of multiplication as making things bigger, but if you're multiplying by fractions, you're actually making things smaller. And using this manipulative clearly shows that to students in a visual way. Now, if they get really good at doing the whole dry erase thing with these, probably the next thing that I would transition them to is actually drawing little boxes um, and doing the same type of thing. Um, they could actually draw a box to represent one factor, use this to represent the second, and then lay it on top to show both of them. So I hope you've enjoyed uh, this activity and I hope it's useful in your classroom. I would love feedback, um, so if you could uh, respond below or you can email me at c4joneses at yahoo.com. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.